This morning and back here at home, this school year, families across Kansas City having to pay for their children's lunches again after the federal government's free meal waiver into this summer. But inflation continues to trickle down, impacting families and school districts facing those rising costs. KSHP 41 News reporter Daniela Leone tells us some of the concerns educators have and why they think food insecurity will only keep going up. School cafeterias across Kansas City are once again full of hungry students. But for the first time in two years, some parents must pay for their kids to enjoy a lunch tray full of food. I worry a lot about the free lunch program ending. I don't feel that families should have to choose between paying their electric bill and sending a student with money for lunch at school. For the past two years, school lunches were free for all students thanks to a pandemic era waiver. But this summer, that federal waiver ended and families will have to apply for free or reduced lunch. I feel families have to prioritize where they put their money. And unfortunately, sometimes that means that kids don't have lunch money for school. It's an ongoing thing to help prevent um, the food insecurity, but yes, it, it might be heightened for some of these families. And families aren't the only ones dealing with inflation. Center School District gets all of their meals through Sodexo USA. The food services company reported double digit year over year increases on items like beverages, dairy, cereals, and bakery. To offset costs, cash lunch prices Prices increased by 10 cents, but that increase was based on trends seen in May. The company told KSHB in a statement that increase will still not be enough to offset rising costs. The school still has to make sure that they, they have enough revenue coming in to still purchase the food and still keep the program operated. The Biden administration signed the Keep Feds Act this year, which helps increase the reimbursement rate for school meals to offset inflation costs. The state is also working closely with school districts to find additional resources for families and are pushing families to apply for free and reduced lunch. There's a lot of times that a family might not sign up for the benefits because of the stigma and I think that's one thing that the waivers helped reduce is some of the stigma around the free and reduced price meal. Across the center school district, 67% of families qualified for the program this year. Eligibility varies depending on the size of your family and the federal government sets eligibility requirements for the program. But it's the families that barely miss the cut that Michelle Gibson is worried about. You know, when you're really hungry, it's hard to focus. It's hard to sit still. You may have a headache. Your stomach may be upset. It affects your mind and your body, which can affect your behavior. And several educators from Center Academy for Success, including Michelle Gibson, are bringing snacks from home to help feed their students. In fact, Gibson told me she would rather go hungry herself than see one of her students go to school with an empty stomach. Reporting live in North Kansas City, I'm Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News. Danielle, thank you. This is an incredible program that's going to continue to go on with these teachers trying to help out there. What more can you tell us about what's being done and what, what people can do as far as helping out around? Yeah, there are several community resources here at the North Kansas City YMCA, including a kids cafe and a food pantry. In fact, take a look at your screen. This is what their pantry looks like. Uh, anyone can come up and get up to six items with the YMCA here. They also have a kids cafe round year round. That is where anyone under the age of 18 can come out and get a snack or a meal after school. They estimate right now their cafe is feeding about 200 children a week. Take a listen. We want to provide healthy, nutritious meals for that demographic, especially because all of the things that, that our youth are for our future, for our communities, for everything that's good in our society, we want to be there to take care of that. And several YMCA's all across the metro also host, host a mobile food pantry. To learn more, just go to KSHB.com. Back to you.